Hey guys, Gaz Burrows here at BurrowsPT.com. I'm talking about supplements today. When I speak to people in the gym or if I take a new client on board, one of the first questions that people tend to ask is what supplements you take? What supplements should I be taking? What's gonna help me get a step close to the results that I want? First of all, it's, it's important to understand that supplements are exactly that. They supplement your diet, do you know what I mean? They're not to be dependent on. Your diet should consist of whole foods, nutritious foods, quality protein sources. You don't have to turn to supplements straight away. We, we always want to try and get um, a bulk of our nutrition, vitamins and minerals from uh, whole foods and good quality foods first. Then if you find you're lacking in something, maybe you're feeling a little tired, uh, maybe you want to increase your protein intake, um, maybe you're on a rehab program for um, from an injury, then you'd look at maybe bringing in some supplementation to help you hit um, the certain levels required that will get you um, to that next stage or make you feel better. But yeah, I'm gonna share with you some of the supplements that I use. It's not a lot, to be honest, I don't use that many supplements. First of all, I like to have juices and smoothies when I can. A lot of the time it's stuff like bananas, peanut butter, almond milk, oats, stuff like that to get the calories in. But I like to add stuff like cacao powder. Essentially it's a good source of magnesium and iron and it makes it taste chocolatey. Um, I've also got a green boost as well. Essentially it's just a boost um, of vitamins and minerals to chuck in there. I find not only does it add taste, it just packs a, a, a smoothie full of um, nutrients as well and it tastes quite good. My protein that I'm using at the minute is Vega Clean Protein. I don't know what the clean means, it's just a vegan protein brand, brand essentially. And it's really nice tasting protein to be honest. I've had a few in the past that I've tasted vile and I've just thrown them out but that is really good. Protein shakes, I use them because obviously I'm in an active job. I use them when I'm on the go, like in between gyms or in between clients or classes or whatever, just for a pro protein top up on the go. Like I said, you wanna try and get your protein from foods primarily, but if you're struggling or if you need a top up, maybe you just like the taste of it, you could add a protein shake also. But I've also got protein, Superfood from PhD, which is it's pretty good. It's that that's super berry, so it's more of kind of like a fruity flavour to have with water. It doesn't mix melt well with milk, um, but it's um, yeah. Again, it's the, the PhD and the Vega, the best ones I've tasted, and um, so that's the vegan protein. Um, I take a multivitamin. Again, a vegan multivitamin. So it's got. Plenty of vitamins, ADEC, uh, calcium, iron. Um, I can really tell when my iron levels are low because I feel it in my energy. So this ensures iron levels are topped up. I mean, you can get your iron naturally from plenty of greens, nuts and seeds, etc. But this, I'd take one of these every day. More importantly for the B12, this will give you a daily dose of vitamin B12. It's really cheap from Holland and Barrett, do you know what I mean? Really cheap, suitable for vegans. Give you B12, because if you are taking on a vegan diet, B12 is essential. You should know that really. It's um, a fundamental when it comes to a vegan diet. So taking one of those just ensures your levels are topped up each and every day. I also take a vitamin D3, especially in the winter months. Just contributes to overall sound health ensures adequate utilization of calcium and helps with your immune system, essentially. Vitamin D3, we get it from the sun, but obviously we don't get a lot of sun, especially in Manchester. It's raining all the time, really cloudy, and we might not want to be out, do you know what I mean, when it's uh, pissing it down. So ensuring you've got enough vitamin D is essential. I'd recommend one of them, really cheap again. Finally, yeah, this, this is it. Uh, ZMA, zinc, magnesium, uh, B6. It's helped me recover and helped me to sleep. Like I said, there's conflicting um, studies, 
with regards to ZMA, but I've noticed the difference. Um, I don't know if it's the placebo effect, who knows. But when, especially when I've been injured, I've tried to increase my magnesium intake, you know, salted baths, Epsom salt baths. Uh, I've got sprays for recovery, and taking ZMA has enabled me to recover quicker and enabled me to sleep better. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's all I take couple of additions to my, my smoothies and juices, protein, vegan multivitamin, vitamin D, and ZMA. And that's it. There's no pre-workouts, no BCAs. I don't really feel the urge to take anything else. I, I get good results of that, I feel good, I function well, I, I keep my energy levels high. That's it, it keeps costs down as well. There's no point spending all this money on fancy supplements when you don't really need them, when you can get a majority from food. So that's it, guys, that's what I currently take. If you have any questions, if you're wondering what maybe you should take, drop me a line below. I'll do my best to help you out. Take it easy.